to another episode of the Karenomics Show. I will be discussing another concept in macroeconomics, which is the monetary policy. The Philippines, through the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, or the BSP, uses such monetary tools to maneuver the money supply and the Philippine economy. The first monetary tool that the BSP uses is the Reserve Requirement or VRR. The reserve requirement is the amount required by the BSP for the banks to only keep. It usually comes in percentage. Example, your reserve requirement is 10%. Having a reserve requirement of 10%, this is what is going to happen. For example, in a bank, a depositor deposited 100 pesos. The 10% of the 100 pesos is your reserve requirement, which is 10 pesos, while the remaining 90% is 90 pesos. The 10% of 100 pesos or 10 pesos should be the amount kept and the vault, while the remaining 90% of the deposit should only be the amount that is invested out. Now, the relationship between your reserve requirement and your money supply is this. The higher the reserve requirement is, the lower the money supply. While the lower the reserve requirement is, the higher the money supply. So if the Banco Central wishes to lower the money supply, it will implement a higher reserve requirement. While if it wants to increase the money supply in the market, it will decrease its reserve requirement. The second monetary tool that the BSP uses is the discount window. The discount window, or the DW, defines the characteristic of the BSP as the lender of last resort. For example, a certain bank needed another bank whom it can borrow funds from. However, this bank can no longer find another bank whom it can borrow from. So, in the end, it turns to the BSP. The counterpart of the discount window is the market rate of return. For example, a bank wishes to borrow 100 pesos. The BSP has a discount window rate of 3% while the market rate of return is 5%. Instead of borrowing from a fellow bank with a market rate of return of 5%, it will then have to pay 105 pesos. While in borrowing from the BSP, it will only pay 103 pesos. Therefore, the bank who, borrowed from, who decided to borrow from the BSP with a lower discount window rate has an income of 2 pesos. However, if the BSP increases the discount window, for example, it increases it to 7%, making the amount of borrowed 107 pesos. And still, the market rate is 5%. 
the amount borrowed of a bank who borrowed from BSP will have a loss of 2 pesos. So if the banks know that the discount window is higher than your market rate of return, it will not borrow anymore from the BSP and it will not increase its money supply anymore. So the BSP increases the discount window to give the banks less incentive to borrow and increase their money supply. Now the relationship between the discount window and the money supply is this. The higher the discount window, the lower the money supply. While the lower the discount window, the higher the money supply. The third and the last monetary tool that the BSP uses is the OMO or The open market operation. The open market operations or the OMO deals with the buying and selling of bonds and foreign exchange. If the BSP buy bonds from other firms, it will shell out cash in the market, so the money supply will increase. While well, if the BSP sells its bonds to other firms, the money supply goes down as the firms give their money and the BSP for safekeeping. The same goes for the foreign exchange. When the private institutions or firms buy foreign exchange from the BSP, the money supply increases as it shells out cash. While if it sells a foreign exchange, the money supply will also decrease. That is the relation of the bonds and foreign exchange to the money supply through the open market operations. So to give you a summary of the three monetary tools that the BSP uses to control our money supply, here it is. If you increase your reserve requirement and increase as well your discount window, while sell your OMO, the effect in the money supply, the money supply will decrease. Well, if you decrease your reserve requirement, decrease as well your discount window, and buys bonds or foreign exchange, the money supply will go up. That is the end of our lesson regarding the monetary tools on the monetary policy. Thank you and good day.